It's my great pleasure to be the facilitator for this superstar, kick-ass, <laughs> incredible panel today. Each of these women are absolute trailblazers in our sector and absolute role models. The event this afternoon combines some of my favourite things, national security, cyber security and of course the celebration of the importance of women. Diversity, um, it's, we don't do it because it's the right thing to do and of course it is, but diversity is capability. I've been really blessed with having support from some very senior people across government throughout my career who have given me opportunities to do things I never thought I'd get to do. You can't learn cyber from PowerPoint presentations, you know, somebody telling you how to do, but you can learn about actually trying out exercises, CTFs, even live fire. Cyber security is the fastest growing national security threat that we face as a country. And so the work that we've been doing over the past two years is really about saying, how do we harness all the brilliance and how do we harness all the good work that we can see going on? We're not getting the, the right balance right out of the education sector into our organisations. And so we actually have to create opportunities to be able to skill people inside our organisation, not just rely on what is coming out of the education sector. I've been talking to 15 year old girls and, and they've said to me, you know, I don't want to go into that industry, I don't want to sit on a keyboard and, you know, to the point of being in a basement and hooded and typing on a, a computer and I've had to kind of talk them through those roles, you know, kind of do exist to some degree, but there are broader roles in the cybersecurity ecosystem. Getting that feeling of excitement about cyber career and obviously girls and boys equally welcome. <laughs> I do not believe in any form of intelligence or security or cyber that we can achieve our outcome if we don't reflect society. And that goes to the broader diversity question. We have to reflect the society that we protect. There is absolutely no question in my mind that we are not going to do the best job we can of managing not just cyber but every national security challenge until we have women as equal partners in these debates and discussions.